Hi Virgo, welcome to your week ahead Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It is an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button if you should so choose. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your support. It truly means the world. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we continue, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what the week ahead has in store for you. What are you removing, releasing or letting go of from your life path this week? What are you removing, releasing or letting go of from your life path? this week and this week you got the four of caps and then another sign got this card as well so uh, yeah it really feels for me like you're letting go of the melancholy this week uh, it really feels like you are saying to yourself you know what i think i've been in a bit of a funk not entirely sure but i think i might have been so i'm releasing that and the four of caps always says that there are always more options available to the to you than what you think so with this as being what you're letting go of it kind of feels for me like you're saying to yourself actually you know, there are blessings in my disguise, in disguises at the moment, and more importantly, there is more available to me at this moment in time. So this week, what you're letting go of is a narrow-minded focus, and that's not to say that you are narrow-minded, but let's be honest, you guys are very detail-orientated, and sometimes when you hone in too, too close or too sharp on something, you miss whatever's on the periphery. So it kind of feels like you're broadening that this week. So you're saying to yourself, look, you know what? Yes, I've been in a bit of a funk, but I'm gonna lift that off. I'm going to not look so much at the details and kind of bring it back a little bit. So this week you'll be thinking a bit more, uh, you know, big picture, uh, which isn't necessarily something that people um, associate with uh, Virgo, but I think you can do it because you're really good at turning your hand to pretty much anything. So let's see what you're working on now. What is at the heart or the meat of the matter? And this week you get the king of pentacles. So this is about your success, right? It's about your accomplishment and your achievement. What you're working on now is really pushing and driving yourself to get yourself out there in the world. This is more about visibility, but it's also, because you guys are very work and detail orientated, it really is about you putting that kind of energy into getting yourself out there now. Uh, the king of pentacles, an earth sign male, usually Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, so this could even be you, yourself, uh, even if you are a woman and you're watching this, as most of my audience are female, sometimes the court cards represent archetypes of ourselves. They represent aspects of ourselves. So when you think about the king of pentacles, he is the ultimate epitome of earth, right? The king and the queen are the epitome of earth. So the, when these represent aspects of yourself, this is about where you refuse to budge. This is about where you refuse to be told where you should go, where you shouldn't go. This is about really connecting to the power of earth and saying to yourself this week I will uh, maybe you know come out of things a bit and not look so much at the details but I won't uh, allow my viewpoint or what I'm you know working on to be compromised by anybody I've got a clear idea for what my vision is and I will and I will in in I will enact that Mercury retrograde is kicking my butt already um, as I show uh, you know as I so please or as I show so should so your key to the week is you got the sun card, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Anything that you have already started is going to grow. Anything that you have already started is blessed. You can absolutely rest assured on that. My advice is probably don't start anything new because you know we are into the Mercury retrograde proper now, uh, especially as we get into sort of, I think it's Wednesday, yeah. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But as a key to the week, it kind of says that whatever you've already sown, whatever seeds you've already put out there, these are now about to start to grow. All you need to do is maybe give them a little touch up every so often and they will continue to do their thing. You've got a very bright and beautiful week ahead of you, my dear Virgos. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have an amazing week. Let me know how it goes for you in the comments. Take care and I will see you very soon for more videos.